I don't know. I just don't know. Sam, please, I have no more time to be a Christmas tree. I've got a 9.30 meeting with a new client. Well, oh, sweetheart, it'll only take a second. And it's easier than lugging the real tree around. Oh, come on, honey, let's just put it where it was last year. Oh, I don't know. Well, all right, all right, let's try. <laughs> Well, well uh, spread your arms, sweetheart, so I can get an idea of the width. How's it? Darren, trees don't stand that way. Sag your branches a little. <laughs> That's better. I'll see you tonight. Now, you won't forget to pick the tree up on the way home. No, honey, I won't. And last year's tree was a little skimpy on one side, so don't buy the first one you see. Hmm? Sam, believe me, no matter how spectacular the first tree I see is, I won't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I still don't know where to put the... I started out life as a poor boy. Now I'm one of the richest men in America. Do you know why? No, sir. Why? Three things. Persistence, prudence, and punctuality. The three Ps. The three Ps. <laughs> I must remember that. Yes, sir. Those three little Ps have served me all my life. I never violate them, and I won't stand for it when others do. Absolutely right. Good. Then you'll understand when I say your man is late and I'm leaving. Well, wait a minute, Mr. Mortimer. I, I, I'm sure there's a very good reason for Darren to be... I'm sorry I'm late. But you know what traffic is on the day before Christmas. <laughs> I told you there was a good reason. I know you did, and I'm still waiting to hear it. <laughs> oh, uh, right. Uh, uh, let's get to it, Darren. You know, to tell Mr. Mortimer the uh, lead concept you have for Mortimer Instant Soups. Uh, slow down, Larry. This was a get acquainted meeting. Uh, we plan to uh, present your uh, campaign brochure after the Christmas holidays. Did we? Yes, Larry, we did. Mr. Stevens, time is money, and I see no reason to waste it. That's right. Waste not, want not. <laughs> Christmas is just another day to me. Me too. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> it's hard to tell the difference. <laughs> Gentlemen, we're running late. We'll have to discuss your campaign for Mortimer Soups tonight. Be sure you're prepared. But Mr. Mortimer, tonight is... Right, tonight it is. Good. At my house. <laughs> Dinner at six. Promptly. But promptly it is. <laughs> Larry, what are you doing? I can't make it tonight, I promise, Sam. We decorate our Christmas tree. Darren, Mortimer Instant Soups is a $500,000 account. That kind of decoration doesn't grow on Christmas trees. I'm sorry, Larry, but a promise is a promise. Uh, then I'll make you a promise. I promise the meeting will be short and sweet. And another thing, I don't like the way Mortimer steps all over everybody. Darren, for the kind of money we're talking about, a couple of footprints won't kill you. <laughs> Besides, we'll be out of there by eight. Just leave it to your old Uncle Larry. You know something? Santa Claus should be here very, very soon. Hurry up, Santa, wherever you are. And Merry Christmas! A Merry Christmas! And since Tabitha's been such a good little girl all year, Santa has a whole bag full of toys for her. Oh, my. There's a paid oh. set for you. And let's see what else. <gasps> a bear. 
<laughs> and a surprise. Oh, Tabitha, isn't that wonderful? What do you say to Santa? Daddy. <laughs> oh. Well, sweetheart, you were so good, I never would have guessed. Sure. <laughs> uh, Santa will get it. <laughs> You recognize me, huh? Hi, Larry. Everybody recognizes me. Daddy. Well, almost everybody. <laughs> ho, 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 Tabitha. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, this is such a lovely surprise, isn't it, darling? Lovely. <laughs> I tore myself away from Louise and little Jonathan to come over here and apologize. In fact, Louise insisted on it. But if that's the way you feel about it... Larry, Darren... Ho, ho, ho! Well, who are you? <laughs> oh, Tate, it's you. You look ridiculous. Hi, Mr. Mortimer. Mr. Mortimer, uh, this is a surprise. I, I hope I'm not intruding. Not at all. Well, I mean, it, uh, it was sort of lonely at my house. I thought you and Hawkins were going to stay home and celebrate humbug. <laughs> well... I sent Hawkins and his family to Lake Placid for the holidays, as a Christmas present. Come right in, Mr. Mortimer. Yeah, sit down, Mr. Mortimer. You look tired. Well, I am tired. I didn't get much rest last night. I was very busy in my dreams. <laughs> Aren't you tired, Mrs. Stevens? Me? Why should I be tired? Well, well never mind. Uh, here, here. Let me take your hat and coat. Uh, Mr. Stevens, Mrs. Stevens, I, I owe you an apology. Uh, what I mean is... We I... understand exactly what you mean, don't we, Darren? Perfectly. I don't understand anything. <laughs> Mr. Mortimer, will you spend Christmas with us? Thank you, Mrs. Stevens. Call me Samantha. This is for you, uh, Darren, Samantha. Oh, you don't have to open it now. I'll tell you what it is. It's a case of Mortimer Instant Soups. Uh, listen, everybody, how about some old-fashioned fruitcake? I made it myself. And I'll whip up some coffee. Irish. <laughs> you son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Who's out there? Excuse me, but is Mr. Claus very busy? Of course he's very busy. What do you think this is, the 4th of July? <laughs> <laughs> we won't keep him long. Will you just tell him Samantha's here? Samantha who? Just tell him Samantha. He'll know. All right, but I'm not promising anything. Do you suppose he'll see us? Oh, I'm sure of it. Have you known him long? Oh, yes. A long time. <laughs> You'll be right out. Make yourselves at home. Surprise. How are you, my dear? Oh, just fine, Santa, and you? Oh, just the same. Always the same. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Santa, this is my husband, Darren. How do you do? Oh, how do you do, Santa? And um, this is Michael. I'm very pleased to meet you, Michael. Won't you sit down? Come on, Michael. Come and sit over here. I'm sorry I haven't got much time to chat with you, but I can at least offer you a cup of tea or a glass of milk. Hey, eh, Michael? No, thank you, Santa. Oh. Dennis? Darren, Santa. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir, of course. Uh, no, uh, thank you. Nothing for me, Santa. <laughs> well, it, it must be something very important that brought you all the way up here. What's the problem? I think the problem's been solved by just being here. Those aren't pillows, are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> you know, my boy, sometimes I wish they were. I've tried all kinds of diet, but nothing worked. <laughs> but then again, if I got too thin, my children might not recognize me. I'd know you. Yes, I... I think you would. But what difference does it make how we look on the outside, eh? It's what we feel on the inside that counts, isn't it? We all grow older, and our eyes get weaker. But what we've seen with our hearts remains forever a thing of joy and beauty. Do you agree with that, sir? Yes, I do, sir. Good. Now I must be going. I've talked long enough, but before I go, I want you to tell me what you'd like for Christmas. I don't know. I guess I haven't thought much about it. Oh. Oh, well, then, take your time. Just take a little look around the display tables and pick out something nice for yourself. Hmm? Or maybe for someone else. Hmm? Remember, Michael, the real happiness of Christmas isn't found in what we get, but what we give. Larry was really a little shook up, but I know he'll handle Mortimer beautifully. In a pinch, old Lair always comes through. Uh, let me help you with the tinsel, honey. Uh, this one branch is a little bald. I wonder what Mr. Mortimer has against Christmas. Uh, probably the fact that people don't give Mortimer soup as gifts. <laughs> uh, more tinsel, honey. Uh, Sam, what are you doing? I asked for more tinsel. I gave it to you. Honey, one piece of tinsel is not the same as more tinsel. One piece at a time is the way to hang tinsel. It gives the tree that delicate, lacy look. Hon, it's a Christmas tree, not a doily. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. You keep working. Here you go. One at a time. Oh, hi, Larry. Hi, Sam. I, I'd like you to meet Mr. Mortimer, uh, Mrs. Stevens. Merry Christmas, Mr. Mortimer. Uh, I hope we're not uh, interrupting anything. Not at all. Come on in. Put your coats down. Sweetheart, you'll never guess who's here. Oh. Surprise. I'll say. <laughs> well, Mr. Mortimer and I had a very productive meeting after you left. We came up with some great ideas, and uh, since I knew you'd be dying to hear them, we didn't want to keep you in suspense. Stevens, we came here to talk business. Mr. Mortimer, nobody works on Christmas Eve. Except Santa Claus. <laughs> um, uh, how about a nice cup of eggnog? No, thank you, young lady. Stevens, we're wasting time. Either we talk business or I'm leaving. Which is it to be? I'll walk you to the door. <laughs> Mr. Mortimer, Larry, I'll be delighted to join you in a business discussion the day after tomorrow. Stevens, I take your refusal as a personal rejection. I certainly didn't intend it that way. Nobody rejects Jesse Mortimer. Kate, I want this man on my account or there won't be an account. He has 10 seconds to change his mind. Baron, change your mind. I can finish trimming the tree myself. Samantha, I am going to help you finish the tree. Then you're going to help me get the Santa Claus suit ready for Tabitha's surprise in the morning. Two seconds. I refuse to be intimidated. It's a matter of principle. Time's up. Gentlemen, Mortimer Soups will take its business elsewhere. Well, wait, Mr. Mortimer. Mr. Mortimer, wait. I can explain everything. Darren was just... Mr. Mortimer? He's gone. A $500,000 account. Darren, how could you do this to me? Especially at Christmas. Mommy, look, I wrapped Lisa's present. Oh, sweetheart, that's terrific. Now, uh, Tabitha. This is the first time that you've ever had anyone spend the night. And I want to make sure that you remember everything I told you. I'm supposed to share my toys and don't fly. No flying and no witchcraft of any kind. It'll be like having a temporary sister for a couple of days. I'm 
wish they had a real sister, because they don't break things all the time. Oh. Adam didn't mean to break your jack-in-the-box, did you, sweetheart? <laughs> Adam. What's going on? Oh, just a little sibling quibbling. It'll pass. That's them. Have you had that talk with Tabitha? Yeah, I did. Everything's fine. Hi there. Come on in. Hi, Darren. How are you, Dorothy? Darren, Pete, good to see you. Thank Hi, Larry. Hi, Sam. Hi. And you're Lisa. Hello, Mr. Stevens. It's nice meeting you. Well, it's nice meeting you, too, Lisa. We're very happy you're going to stay with us. Especially me. Because you're going to be my tam... tamper... Uh, that's temporary. As in sisters. <laughs> right. Come on, Lisa. I'll show you the tree. Uh, and don't forget to introduce Lisa to Adam. Do I have to? <laughs> yes. Uh, come on in, everybody. Well, we haven't got time, Sam. We've got to get to the airport. I'll just say a last goodbye to Lisa. You've been saying goodbye all the way over here. Ha, ha. <laughs> Have fun, sweetheart. We'll be back before Santa Claus comes. Oh, Brockway called. You know, he wants to meet us at the office this afternoon to go over the layout revisions. Yeah, I'll be there. Good. Now, if you land Brockway and Keith comes home with the Fenmore account, we'll really have a white Christmas. Uh, watch that. <laughs> bye, Sam. Bye-bye. Have a good trip. Hey, Sam, bye-bye. Well, shall we finish trimming the tree? Oh, I've got a little work to do. Some final touches on the uh, Brockway layouts. Oh, okay. Then we'll go to the park. How does that sound? Goody. I'll get my coat. <laughs>